Hey there people, so I have come here to a lovely waterfall that is actually right near my house and I came to this waterfall in Koh Phangan, Thailand around three years ago. It was actually the first waterfall I ever came to and it was with my lovely girlfriend Sophie that some of you may be aware of at the time and yeah I thought I would make a video talking about my two plus year experience with intermittent fasting which actually to this current date it's actually two years and six months to be exact and I wanted to make this video so you could just hear my own personal story and maybe learn some things from my own personal experience that can help you on your own journey so if this video sounds of interest to you make sure you watch it from start to finish and I'm trying to do the best I can with the lighting as we're moving it gets a bit dark and this waterfall has got a nice little trek it seems to it so first off how did I become aware of intermittent fasting I can't remember exactly but at that time and I still am I was very into health and looking into many different alternative healing things out there and when I had decided to embark on intermittent fasting. I did loads of research on these subjects, learned from as many teachers as I possibly could, have dug deep into all different scientific research. And the thing that made it appeal to me the most was I wanted to start transforming my body because I used to be super skinny. I'll show you some photos here. And I wanted to build muscle mass and switch up my training. So I was doing a lot of cardio at the time, a lot of running, a lot of cycling. So I looked like a runner and a cyclist. And I switched to body weight training known as calisthenics. And the reason why I switched to do intermittent fasting with the calisthenics is due to scientific research that I've talked about many times in videos before is it massively boosts human growth hormone production and testosterone production, which these hormones are key for a maximizing muscle growth. And just, helping you gain really good strength as well. And a whole host of other benefits, but they're the main reasons why I want to do it. And that's why you get pro bodybuilders that take synthetic exogenous forms of these hormones, but obviously they have a lot of unwanted negative side effects, short term and long term. And it's not the path that I wanted to go down whatsoever. So yeah, that was the main reason why I started. But then there's also these other amazing health benefits that come with it as well. So I decided to embark on this journey. And what I say is, for years prior, maybe like three years prior, I had a lot of experience with water fasting for days and days and days. The longest one I did was six days. I was never aware of intermittent fasting, but I was aware of prolonged water fasting, which some people call extended water fasting and multiple day fasting. So I already had experience with fasting. So intermittent fasting, was really, really easy for me to switch to. And when I did make the switch, it wasn't hard at all. It just made sense to me mentally. And I found when I made the switch, never really had issues with hunger whatsoever. Didn't feel like crap. And I just noticed endless amounts of benefits. My energy levels went up. I had more stable energy levels throughout the day. I enjoyed my food more. I just felt better mentally where my cognitive functions such as memory, alertness, focusness, being able to work for longer periods of time without feeling drained and just a whole host of other benefits came along. I knew I was going to get some benefits, but I didn't know I was going to get all those benefits and way many more that I can't even begin to explain to you because just, yeah, they're the ones that were the main ones. There's a whole host of other ones as well. And what I will say is when I embarked on this journey, I started with the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, which is where you fast for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window, because this is one of the most common intermittent fasting diets out there that I am still currently aware of until this current point. And I say the majority of people that get intermittent fasting do the 16-8 method because it's one of the easiest ones to switch to and to sustain long term. And what I say is over the period of time of doing that 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, which lasted for, let me see, January, February, March, June, July, one year and five months, I did the 16-8 method. But then there was a lot of time where I was fasting 17 hours a day, 18 hours, 19 hours, or sometimes like 20 hours but a lot of time around 16 to 18 hours. So what I was doing was 
getting, well, I made sure I got an app called My Fast, which when you stop eating, you press it and it starts timing how long you're fasting for. So I always had the minimum fasting length at 16 hours. And if I felt naturally drawn to fast longer than I did. Some days I was just so focused upon being productive and focused upon my businesses that I just didn't think about food whatsoever and I just kept on going and then I fast longer. So it was just naturally making me sometimes go in a direction of fasting longer. But then around one year and five months later, I switched to one meal a day and I was aware of one meal a day for quite some time and I had tried it before but every time I tried it I just found that man the hunger just kicked in before I'd get to anywhere near my one meal a day my energy levels would drop and that light's not so good so sorry about that and I just found that when I was trying to push through the fasting window it was just making me feel awful mentally and physically where I'd just have to lie down and do absolutely nothing which is not good because just like most people I have a very busy lifestyle so it was not sustainable for me at the time but then i had to go on a trip somewhere and traveling for ages and i couldn't eat and i felt fine and it got to the evening time and i went to a buffet called santosa's uh, which is a health retreat center in phuket thailand and wow we got some climate that's why i'm breathing quite heavily which is good need some movement been indoors a lot of today working hard online doing other various things and i went to this buffet it's one of the best places over in thailand if you're in Phuket, definitely go there especially if you're a vegan done by an italian chef it's just absolutely amazing and yeah what happened was i just ate and ate and ate and ate <laughs> so much food Plates and 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 plates of food. And some buffets don't actually like that. I've been banned from some buffets while I was on one meal a day for eating so much food. It's a buffet. What did I expect? <laughs> and I found I wasn't hungry until the next evening. I was like, wow, I've been wanting to go towards one meal a day, but I couldn't sustain it. And then I just found that my body naturally wouldn't do it. And I found that was the number one mistake I was making when switching to one meal a day. I was just not eating enough food. That's why I couldn't sustain it before. And then I went on to sustain this for around seven months straight. And I just noticed all the benefits that I was getting before with the 16-8 method just got way, way, way better overall. And it also helped me get my body fat percentage down even lower so I could have a more ripped body. Let's give you a quick look. This place is so nice. As you can see here. So, yeah, I have a lot of experience with different lengths of intermittent fasting. And I've tried out so many different diets over the years, just like many people that are watching my videos or have done before. And I just found it's one of the things that i've done to improve my health and energy levels and cognitive functions and mood and everything which has been one of the best things to achieve those results and many others and it also helped me to overcome certain food addictions that i had so i felt that i didn't no longer need to binge out because i used to have issues with binging on food and i just beat myself up and not feel good about it but i found with intermittent fasting which a lot of people wouldn't think it would be like this is that it just helped me all of a sudden overcome those binging issues almost fell down then and just form a way healthier relationship with food because i just found a lot of time i was eating when i didn't need to eat then it made me feel garbage and just made my blood sugar levels go up and down it was just not good at all but i found when switching to intermittent fasting i only started eating when i needed to eat and only eating the amount of food that i needed to fuel myself and make myself feel as amazing as possible and man i remember actually this waterfall it actually well the hike to the waterfall you can go past the waterfall like i am now and go all the way to the top and then get a view of the whole island i've actually brought my drone i might do some drone footage put it in this video you'll know if i've done that because it will be in the video so that was a really amazing thing and i just found in the past 
So many times I'd eat food, not really get much energy from it, and I would just get hungry so many times throughout the day, no matter how many calories I was eating and how much food I was eating. But once I swapped to intermittent fasting, those issues went away. My hunger got completely under control, feeling very satiated from food for very, very long periods of time. And just found when I actually would eat the food, that I'd actually gain a significant amount of energy from it. Unless I was overeating, which can be an issue. Yes, I eat a lot in one sitting, but I'm not overeating. So if you're doing intermittent fasting, you're eating a lot of food, and you feel sluggish afterwards, then that may be an issue for you as well. So that's just something to be very, very mindful of. We've got loads of people going past, so it's like a roadblock in the forest. <laughs> and man, yeah, it feels very, very pure here. Very oxygen rich environment. It's the number one nutrient that we can't go long without. I like food and water before we just like end our lives, literally. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, life is good, man. So, yeah, as you can see, for me and my own experience, why would I not do it? It just makes complete sense. And like I said, when I started this journey, I was very, very lean, very, very, very lean. And then doing calisthenics combined with intermittent fasting helped me gain around 10 kilos of muscle within one year, go from skinny, weak and frail to lean, ripped, strong and muscular. So I got amazing physique, transformative, benefits as well which is win-win because that was the reason why I started calisthenics and intermittent fasting and then definitely worked synergistically alongside each other to help me gain the physique that I had dreamed of and a brilliant benefit of that is yeah it makes you feel better gives you the body you want but I'm telling you as well if you want to track the opposite sex more they definitely find it way way more appealing as well Obviously, if you're not a nice person on the inside, then it's soon going to work out that, yeah, you're not a nice person. They don't just base it on the external. So you need to be a nice person internally as well. Um, so, yeah, I'd say if for someone's new to intermittent fasting, start with shorter periods of time. Make sure you're not overeating. Do it consistently over time. Experiment with longer fasting windows, shortening your eating window and just see what works for you. Because what may work for me or someone else may not work for you. And your body knows best. So try and be in tune with your body as much as possible. <sighs> oh, this is a good bit of cardio. <laughs> not that I train cardio specifically ever, but yeah. Oh, and most of the time I have made sure that I'm just drinking enough water in the fasting state, but then there's been periods of time where I've experimented dry fasting where you abstain from food and all liquid sources as well. And both of them had their place, but I have done the majority of intermittent water fasting. But there's days, say at the moment, what I do is just listen to my body. Some days where I intermittent dry fast, some days that I intermittent water fast. I have found amazing benefits from both of them. And what it says, it's best for someone to start with intermittent water fasting for a while. If you're drawn to try dry fasting, give it a go, but just be very careful because you could push your body too far and it could be dangerous. And that's something I want to mention. You may be thinking, well, why don't I eat one meal a day now? Well, it was working for me very, very well. But what I found over time is that it was putting my body into too much of a stress response. And intermittent fasting is a form of stress, but it's a good stress. But if you push yourself too far, where it's just overstimulating the nervous system, overstimulating the adrenals, it can have a very negative effect on you. And I found that my body just got to a point where it needed to start doing the 16-8 method again. So, yeah, certain points is doing one meal a day in 16-8. But yeah, I just do it intermittent, intuitive fasting. So I say some days water fasting, 
with intermittent fasting, some days dry fasting, some days fasting 16 hours, some days 70 hours, some days one meal a day, it just varies. And that is what I wanna share with you, is, yeah, definitely do a minimum of 16 hours of intermittent fasting, because I'm telling you, if you don't do a minimum, you're not really gonna get the full benefits from it, and that's the minimum that you need to do to get some amazing benefits from it, and eat for around an eight hour window. So, yeah. Listen to your body. Feel you want to fast longer, then fast longer. But be mindful that you're not pushing yourself too far that it starts having a negative effect on you. Wow, look at this sap on that tree. Can you see that? Wow. There's loads of people over there as well. I showed the view point in a minute. I remember that from years ago. And for anyone wondering what type of diet have I been eating on my journey with intermittent fasting. The majority of the time it's been a plant-based whole foods diet. Normally 50% raw where I have raw food earlier on like fruits in a fruit smoothie and then later I cooked plant-based whole foods. And normally very high carb at the moment, it's high carb, quite a lot of protein as well. Two meals a day. I've experimented many sometimes with three meals a day but I just find it starts to have a negative effect on my digestion. I said I'd started trying that again recently, it's just not working for me at all. So we stopped that one. And there was a time for 30 days that I did eat a vegan ketogenic diet as well. But mostly the plant-based whole foods, high carb vegan diet. But then there's been a lot of times where I've been eating a lot of like vegan, high carb, which has got quite a bit of fat and also protein in vegan junk food as well. So I've tried out a few different things, but I found with all of those, I felt pretty damn amazing like really 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 amazing but I just stick to the high carb one the majority of the time because that's what makes me personally feel the best it may not for you you could do intermittent fasting all different types of diet and I talked about just yesterday what the best diet is to eat with intermittent fasting so if you haven't seen that video I put a link for it up above and you can check that out by clicking the link up above now and for anyone wondering with working out because I know some people will probably wonder this is have I always worked out in the fasted state or after I've eaten a meal. Well, when I was doing one meal a day, I was always training in the fasted state because I was eating my one meal a day in the evening. Some people do it at lunch or breakfast, but for me, my personal preference was at the evening time. And normally with the 16-8 method, or where you could say I was just eating two meals a day and not having breakfast, I would normally train in between the two meals. So break my fast with whatever foods I was gonna break it with, then wait a couple of hours or even three or four hours, and then go and do some body weight training. And yeah, with both of them, training in the fastest state, or training after eating like a few hours afterwards, I felt as good with either of them. As greater strength, didn't notice any difference between the two. Still amazing stamina, endurance and other things. So yeah, both have worked very well for me and something that i just love about intermittent fasting for me is i always want to stay very lean and ripped and intermittent fasting has allowed me to stay very lean and ripped when i was eating one meal a day i was eating around three to four thousand calories a lot of the time junk food because it was easier for me to get enough calories in at the moment it's around 2000 to 2500 calories but yeah even when eating loads of calories i found so I was just feeling really, really amazing throughout the whole day and I wouldn't put on any excess body fat, which is why I call it the ultimate weight loss hack, which is really, really amazing because a lot of people say you need to like do extreme calorie restriction to really drop your body fat percentage down, which can make you feel awful mentally and physically and mood wise. It's not something that I want to do. I've tried that in the past and it makes me feel miserable. My energy levels are messed up. My mood's all over the show and it's just not sustainable for me at least, some people do it, but it's not for me. I like to eat quite a bit of food because it makes you feel the best. So yeah, this has just been an amazing journey for me. Could I ever see myself quitting intermittent fasting? No, it doesn't make any sense to me. When I see people eating breakfast, it's like, man, it just doesn't compute in my brain anymore because I've been doing intermittent fasting for so long. And it's like most people are eating in the morning to get energy when it normally uses up more energy for the body to digest it. So then they have to drink coffee and take other stimulants, like Red Bull and other energy drinks to give them a fake source of energy. And it's like, pff, I'd rather just not eat in the morning and get my energy from intermittent fasting or the benefits it gets. 
gives me. And that is the one thing that I really love from intermittent fasting. Less time and focus upon food, so then I can be more productive and do more of the things that I need to work on to achieve certain goals and results that I want within other areas of life, especially when doing one meal a day. Just having all those hours to focus upon so many other things rather than eating like three meals a day and snacks in between. Just, if you're an entrepreneur, it's one of the best type of things that you can do with dietary modifications and that is daily intermittent fasting. So for me, intermittent fasting, 10 being the best, one being the worst, 10 out of 10. And the brilliant thing is, as well, it normally saves you money as well. Which, if you can save money from something, I know that I want to, and I know that most other people do as well. So, yeah, you're getting your best, well, best bang for your buck, quite literally. But the green thing with intermittent fasting, it isn't costing you any money, it's completely free and you can do it anywhere as well. You don't need to buy any supplements or have access to certain things, which is another amazing thing about it. Oh, and last but not least, I'm someone that travels around quite a bit, and I have found that daily intermittent fasting makes it way more convenient when I'm traveling about, especially because I eat a vegan diet. And I think anyone could say it's on any type of restricted diet where you just cannot eat any processed packaged foods from any places whatsoever, that it just made it easier for me to sustain this vegan plant-based diet because I wouldn't need to take loads of food with me, which I used to before, and then I have to carry all that additional weight with me. I already have so much equipment for filming and then editing videos such as my laptop and all the other equipment as well. So the less weight I can carry with me, the better. So I can just be the best minimalist that I possibly can be. And I'm very into minimalism. If you don't know about it, do some research into it. So it really, really transformed my own personal experience. And yeah, this place is amazing. Didn't expect to be walking up this high, but I'm just walking and talking and notice that uh, the elevation's going up and up and up. It's all good. And man, that air on me. Really nice, cool breeze going through. Hmm. And the one last thing I'm trying to think of everything, it's like two and a half years, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything really, really important. I think it'd be valuable for you to hear is due to intermittent fasting daily, it's made me appreciate food way more because when you haven't eaten for quite some hours rather than consistently all the way throughout the day, the <laughs> The taste of the food, it just tastes way better. I appreciate it more, I enjoy it way more. Unlike when I just used to eat all the way throughout the day. It's just, it was the complete opposite experience to that. So for me, it's just, yeah, gave me a healthier relationship with food, but a more enjoyable experience with food as well, which is a win-win situation. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on my own experience for the last two and a half years of intermittent fasting, leave it down below and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to learn about intermittent fasting, especially if you want to do it to learn how to do it in the most safe and effective way to get some serious weight loss benefits. I'll put my video up above that's titled that, that you can click now. And you also can search up many intermittent fasting videos on my channel as well. I have so many and I'm posting so many new ones in the future. If you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you when new videos are uploaded and have new ones coming in West every single day. And if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below and don't forget to share this with others. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.